significant number of people who are at the moment the highest risk, starting with those who are working at the border. On the press, Chris, looking through the data, were you able to ascertain at any level whether um, this vaccine is giving people sterile immunity, whether they are not only stopping the vaccine, you know, becoming sick from COVID, but stopping being able to transmit the virus onto anyone else? Uh, so, no, the data available at this stage does not confirm um, whether it reduces transmission. Um, that's one of the reasons why we require additional information from Pfizer. So when that data, that data starts coming through, we'll know as soon as possible. Looking at, the, looking at the mass vaccinations around the world with this vaccine so far, though, is there anything that indicates whether it does or not, or is that still too little doubt? Most of the data that we're, that we're receiving internationally is on side effect reports. We are yet to get any information that talks to um, does this um, prevent transmission. And do you know how long you, it might be till you get any data about whether the vaccines prevents transmission? You know, for people who have been having all the swabbing, they might be yeah. looking forward to an end to it, but there's none in sight. So just on the swabbing, we will be continuing to do the swabbing because remember it's not just um, those people, well there are two things here, one is the vaccine is highly effective and you heard Dr Turner say that it's one of the most effective vaccines we've got. You know, as I said, this vaccine is around about 90 to 95 percent effective against symptomatic disease. That does mean some people will still get disease and we will probably still have some degree of transmission, so we can't afford complacency. But it's still 90 to 95 percent that of people who will become immune when they've had the vaccine, there will still be 5% of people who may not be immune.